Hi, welcome to this SSRS tutorial video and today we're going to look at formatting um, our cells based on values. We're going to add expressions to our cells so that they get formatted depending on other values in our report. As we've seen in, in previous videos, we can, we've can we got options of formatting. So I can choose the, to, to change the background colour of this cell here. Um, if I select yellow and I preview it, it's going to make every cell in every row uh, in that column rather um, yellow and that's fine but really we want it to, to be a little bit cleverer than that so I want to get rid of that yellow what we want it to do is you want it to be a value we want it to be a, a different color depending on values so what we can do if I click on this drop down here we've got these options I just want to hover over these options of colors here and it, when we hover over a particular color you'll see a little tooltip pops up and says what color it is um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on expression here. This takes me to this expression window. By default, it's got this no color um, because that is what is currently set up. Um, if I were to select yellow and then go to my expression here, it would say yellow because that's currently what is set as the background color. However, we want to, we don't want to do that. We want we want to create a, um, an expression to to do this. So to do that. Um, we need to begin with equals. When you begin, when you write an expression, you begin with equals. And we've got all sorts of operators that we can use down here and, and functions. And I'll look at those things in a different video. What we're going to look at here is a basic if statement. And for those who, who aren't sure what an if statement is, you basically ask a true or false question. And then you do one action if it's true and one action if it's false. So usually in programming, an if statement begins with if. However, in SSRS, it begins with I if. Then we start with a bracket and we get this little tooltip here saying, right, I need I need the true or false equation, if you like. Then I need what to do for true and what to do for false. What I want to say is, go to my data set fields, select the field I'm interested in, which is sales year to date, double click that. And I want to say if my sales year to date value is greater than 1.5 million, then I put a comma, it takes me to the true element of this if statement. And I'm going to say, if it is then um, orange, else uh, blue. And if I click OK, and if I click preview, we should now see that depending on the value now, it's orange or blue. Um, just as a quick side note, if I look at this value here that's slate blue, or maybe this one that's light blue, if I want to use one of those um, colors, I I don't need the space. I do light blue, like that. No space. If you put a space in, it won't work. Okay, that's pretty good. Um, you know, it's not just... Uh, uh, individual cells you can put it on on whole rows so if I click on this row here um, just just to note you've got a background color here which is obviously the background and this color element here is the this color property is the foreground the font color so if I change the font here I'm going to go to expression uh, and I'm going to say let's give it a black um, I'm going to say if equals if um, we'll do the same fields. So if this value, and we'll do the same value is greater than five, comma, we'll say yellow. Oops, I can type yellow. Else black. And then remember, end bracket. If you don't put an end bracket, this will have a, a horrible red underline here because it, it, there's something wrong. Um, when you complete it with an end bracket, it's happy with the format and, and that will work. Um, and now if I go back to here, see those fonts there. So um, let me now remove that formatting. We're going to move somewhere else. But before we do that, let's remove the formatting. To remove formatting from uh, for color from, from your font, you simply make it black. To remove the formatting from the background color, excuse me, if I click on that. Um, you've got an option at the top here of no color. My um, 
graphics uh, it's not showing it properly but you can see that little tick box here it's no color if you tick that it gets rid of the formatting completely now if i run that now it'll just be plain black and white that's very strange okay um now let's look at it being a little bit cleverer so what i want to do is i want it to highlight um cells based on this value but i want to do it against the average so i want to know how many rows i've got and i also want to know what the sum of those rows is and i want to use that in my expression now i was messing about before this video trying to get this to work and i'll show you how i eventually kind of got the logic so i'm going to insert a couple more columns because I was struggling a little bit getting the logic right and sometimes SSRS is not the easiest way to kind of debug um, your expressions so what I decided to do was create a couple of columns and one I was going to put the sum total in and one I was going to put the amount of rows in and make sure that I was getting the right values and I got it to work so if I right click on this cell here and I choose expression what I want to say here is equals sum and I want to say um, well, in fact, I can do it here, actually, I think it is. So if I click data sets rather than fields, if I click data sets um, and I see some years today, if I double click that, that's what I need there. So I want to click OK on that. And if I right click on here and I choose expression, this is my count rows bit. And there is a in common functions in aggregate, there is something called count rows. And if I double click that, it puts count rows here. But also it tells me possible kind of ways of um, of examples of use. What I'm going to say is I want to count rows in my data set. So I'm going to put data set one because that here you can see is the name of my data set. So if I click OK and I run that, that should work. OK, now if we look on the right hand side here, we can see that's the sum total 36.2 million and that is how many rows we've got 17 rows and if we add rows and we add more data these figures will change so now we know how to get those figures we can use those figures now as our expression so i'm going to now come to here and in the background property background color property i'm going to click on here i'm going to click on expressions and i'm going to say um equals if now i know i can i can find the field here if i want to um so in the other examples i was finding the field and double clicking it but you can type here if we type fields and put an exclamation mark it will then offer me the fields that are in the current data set the fields available in this tablix so i want to use my sales year to date then i need to put dot value that's important so if you don't put that it won't work if I don't type that and I just double click this, it will put it correctly with the dot value, which is what I need. Then I'm going to put greater than, and this is where in the other example I put 1.5 million. So instead of that, I want to put in brackets sum fields sales year to date dot value. And then I need to put my data set. Now I'm going to purposely make a mistake here. I'll show you that in a second. Um, divided by count rows data set one. So that's the name of my data set. And I want to say that for the true element, I'm going to say oops, slate blue. And for the false element, I'm going to say no color for the false part. I think that should work. Now, this won't work, and I'm going to show you why in a second. But if I click OK on that, and I click Preview, the, the logic is right. But I've got an error here. And this error says the background expression for a text box um, has a score parameter not valid in the aggregate function. Now, let's try and work out what that means. So I, because I've been working on this previously, I did uh, take a copy of the working expression. And I'm going to paste it below. So this is a working expression. And generally you look at it and you think, well, it, it, it's it's the same. I don't see what the problem is. And I'll show you what the problem is. It's that capital S. 
with this version of SSRS is case sensitive. Um, this is an old version, it's version 2012. I don't know about later versions, but this is case sensitive. That cupboard less is, is required. That small S breaks it. If I get rid of that small S and put a cupboard less in there, this doesn't matter. Slate blue can be a little S, little B. Referencing fields and um, data sets, they've got to be, um, they are case specific. So capital D and capital S in this case. So if I now run that, what we should see is um, some of the values here are highlighted because they are above average. So that's pretty cool. That's, I mean, that's that's, uh, that's working pretty well. So let me now just, as a last thing, um, one thing to note, I've been playing about with uh, this field and I've been looking at the values in this field, but I don't need to look. I don't need to put an expression based on its own value. So I'm going to go to job title here and I'm going to make this job title a different color based on the value of sales last, last year. But I want to have a couple of different options. So I don't just want to say, it's either true or false. I want it to say, do this color, or do this color, or do this color. So let us go to the background color, and let us go to expression. Um, we'll get rid of that. And we're going to say equals, because it's got to begin with equals. If, um, and I'm going to type this, fields, sales last year, dot value, uh, is greater than, 1.5 million then orange this is the false part now in the false part we can say if fields sales dot value is greater than 1 million blue else red oops uh, oh, one more bracket at the end. So what this is saying is we've got this if statement here. If it's greater than 1.5 million, make it orange. Otherwise, if it's greater than a million, make it blue. Otherwise, make it red. So if I click OK on that, and if I do a preview. So we now see, because I did it against the job title, based on the value of here, we can see those that are over 1.5 million are orange, those that are over a million or between a million and 1.5 million are blue and the rest are red that's the end of this video uh, if you like it please give me a, a thumbs up that'd be appreciated any feedback is also appreciated it helps me with my content um thanks for watching see you next time